Can I get your ticket, please? Can't you make this line move any fucking faster, you old fuck? Ticket, please. Hey, next. Be quiet. Oh, next. Did he even bring a ticket? Got two forms of ID, social security card, and birth certificate. I've already been through all of the vetting. I got the ticket. Can you just scan it and let me in? I own the damn school. Ain't scanning. Ain't scanning. Why do you even want to come in here anyways? What, what do you mean why I want to come in here? Uh, well, because we all know that love is between one human and one human. There ain't no other way. You got a ticket? Ma'am, you got a ticket? Uh... Excuse me, you are spewing your anti-sex gremlin hate at me, and you're just... Obviously, you can't let this lady into the thing. She's a protester. No sex gremlins. If she has a ticket, no she's allowed gremlins. in. Anybody's allowed in. It's inclusive. This is an inclusive event, sir, and I'm going to have to ask you to move to the back of the line. Are you kidding me? Fuck you and your sex gremlins. I am, a, I am not going to stand for this. I am the founder of this college. You're going to let me in there. My girlfriend is about to speak. Sir, you ain't gonna get in any event unless you got a valid ticket. This ain't scanning. I don't know how many times I gotta explain it to you. It ain't scanning, ma'am. Do you got a ticket? Because if not, I'm gonna have to ask you all to move to the back of the line. But listen, lady, do you have a ticket or not? Can I borrow your ticket? I'm trying to see my girlfriend speak. Listen, I try to be nice to y'all sex gremlins, but I really cannot take it anymore. This ticket is for me. I wanna go in. I wanna protest my rights. So, no, get the fuck to the back of the line like the rest of them. Okay, first of all, I am a human being. I have deformities, but I am not a sex gremlin. Now, I'm not racist against the sex gremlins, but I am a human being. What would be wrong What would be wrong if you were a sex gremlin, sir? Back in the line, like I've been saying. Next. No, I, I'm going to get into this Next. thing. I don't think, you are putting me to the back of the line because Next. she called me a sex gremlin. Someone call security. Yeah. <laughs> I am security, and I'm telling you, I'm going to hit you with this baton if you don't leave, sir. Oh, oh my God. Whatever. I don't care if you. You're I don't care if you're even in. the person who started this college. You don't got a ticket. You don't get to come in. You're going to let her in, and she doesn't even have a girlfriend giving a speech. Well, to that me. all depends on if her ticket scans, sir. I'm a red blooded right. American, just like the rest of them. It's going to scan, all right. Well, then scan your fucking ticket. I spend ticket. my hard-earned money them. just like the rest of them. Ain't scanning. Ain't scanning. Well, now what do you say, red-blooded American? You trying to get in here with fake tickets? What kind of person gets into an event with fake sex gremlin event tickets? I am sick of- You think you come in here and you bring these fake tickets, you think you're going to get past security, and then what, you're going to blow the place up? I would just like to say that apparently it's your girlfriend speaking and your ticket's not working, so who the hell's ticket's fake now? Hey. What's going on out here? <laughs> Beverly, hey, did I miss your speech? Clark! Did you even see my speech? No, I didn't. This bitch wouldn't let you me You didn't even get in to see my speech. I just gave a speech. I just said for no sister, no. He was too busy be fucking one. around, not buying a ticket. He doesn't care about you, girlfriend. Get out while you still can. who came. are you? Is this your mistress? Is there something you have to tell me, Clark? No, I don't know this bitch. This Bitch, why are you calling a woman a bitch? She's just some protester here to protest this sex gremlin rally, and now I can't even get in to see your speech. And she's a terrorist. What could you possibly be protesting? Uh, because love is between one human and one human. What the hell else would I be protesting? Love is love, honey. There ain't nothing to... There ain't... As the way God intended, it was humans. All right? I'm sorry, but I think God created the sex gremlins, and they probably created these sex gremlins in their image. I think that was Satan. You think, you think Satan would create the sex gremlins, so that doesn't even make sense. That doesn't uh, make any sense else, at all. Who else could create something so evil and unpure besides somebody like that? It sounds like you worship Satan because you think he has the power to Satan make something worshiper. so... Yeah, you terrorist Get the Satan, Satan cult devil worshiper don't off of our property. Get, don't get, get off me. Don't yeah, shut get, get, her her get her out of here. Get her out of here. Get out of here, ma'am. We're going yeah. to have to escort you out of here if you worship Satan on these grounds. I'm live recording on my Facebook. I'm getting kicked out of this. They're telling me this red-blooded American can't be here. My God. Get the fuck out. This is why sex gremlins must be killed. Kill sex oh gremlins. Oh, my God. Kill all sex gremlins. <laughs> Kill oh all sex... Hey, what the fuck is going on out here? 
the oh fuck my God, are you Tristan. doing? The fuck are you doing, lady? Beverly, I gotta say, your speech was beautiful. I loved it. Thank you. Watch out, Tristan. This is a Thank would be you, assassin. Tristan. Thank you, Tristan. That was very kind of you. Uh, you fucking Tristan? Who, who the fuck are you? I'm the bitch. You got something bad to say about a sex gremlin? I'm the bitch who can't stand you. That's exactly who yeah, the hell I am. You can't stand on my dick because there's no way you'd ever come 10 feet within this big old 10 inch son of a bitch. I wouldn't touch you if you were the last man on earth. You think I was made by Satan? Huh? I sure do. Would Satan make this? Oh my god, that's even oh, bigger Tristan. than before. Tristan, you grew your, you grew your already erect penis even further. That's very impressive. I didn't even know it was possible. I, only God yeah. would make something and like that. And this is what I'm gonna tell you, lady. God made me for fucking. God made me for love. Satan don't care about love. Satan don't care about fucking. All Satan cares about is getting fucking... Just doing dumb shit down and out. I do not want my child to see anything like what you got right there. That is inappropriate. This is a family-friendly event. It's my body, lady. It's my body, bitch. Get over it. It's my body. Oh, let me guess. My body, my choice. My body, my choice. I'm a sex gremlin. What can I say? I mean, I, I deserve the same education and everything you get just because I'm a fucking sex gremlin and I got a fully erect penis all the damn time. Let me guess, lady. You were one of the protesters that protested when we opened this sex gremlin academy, weren't oh, you? Oh, I sure did. I was here every single day. I quit my job to be here to protest people or rather creatures, disgusting creatures like you every single day because you are unpure, unrighteous, and undeserving to be here. Jeez. That was That's pretty some... harsh. That's some real uh, xenophobic kind of attitude. Well, that's the one that I was like raised in. You sound like you have a personal problem, lady. Uh, I think you got the personal problem. Me and my husband, Ronnie, are both college educated. We understand. Ronnie? Yes. His name's Ronnie. I used to know a Ronnie. Don't you dare speak Ronnie ill of Ronnie. Ronnie Philheimer? Yes. How do you know him? He used to work with, he used to work with my... What's my dead husband? He used to work he with He would never me. work with your kind, I'll tell you that much right now. He wouldn't step near you, not within well, 10 feet. Well, to be fair, I wasn't a supporter of sex gremlins until about a week or two ago, so. Oh, they got you. Traitor, traitor, traitor. Well, of course, Tristan got me because he's a nice young Yeah, guy. I gotta. Listen, lady, can we I speak? I invited him over to dinner. Yeah, clock over here is one of my good friends. Who? Hey. Me! Changed their mind forever, really introduced her. You know, it's like the first time you meet a transgender person. It changes your world. Yeah, what's the matter? You never meet a sex gremlin before. Nice to meet you. My name's Tristan. I have a name. And I can speak. You never done this before? You never shook hands with a sex gremlin? Nice to meet you. Uh, I cannot stay the same. Say the same. I cannot. I won't even touch it. Put your hand away. Oh, come on, you know we were having a nice little moment right there. You started looking at my eyes and you started to see that there might be something more behind it than just a lifeless monster created by Satan. You really can't believe that shit, can you? I think every person who doesn't want to, who doesn't like the sex gremlins just secretly has a fetish for them and wants to fuck them, but they're too afraid to talk about it. Is that your case, lady? That is not my case. Look, I just came here to say... I love Ronnie, I love Ronnie, and just because I gazed into your eyes for a moment, it was you trying to seduce me, trying to ruin my marriage. Even if I did want you, I can't have you, because I am married to Ronnie. He's been my high school sweet's heart. I ain't gotta do no seducing, because Ronnie's at home right now, jerking off to the thought of you fucking me. <sighs> oh, my God. Have you seen his search history? Is he into sex gremlin porn? I got no proof. I got no proof of it, but I bet he is. It's on the- look, it's the number one thing on Pornhub. <sighs> Sex true. gremlin and human porn. Within a week, it's become the number one searched porn. Well, I did look at his search history, and he did have that, but he told me it's because he was looking it up to get evidence to use against people like your kind, you little sex criminals for the he protest. He was lying. He was lying. If you, if you went right home right now and you said, oh my god, I touched one of the sex gremlins dick, his dick would go right up. He'd be like, what? You did what? I can't accept that he might betray me in that way. Are, were any of the videos gay? What? 
What? We're in the- I'm just wondering, were any of the videos that your husband watched gay? I mean, there was a few, but like I said, he said he was doing research purposes. Most mm -hmm. of them were male and female I ain't into sex that gremlins. Shit. I ain't into that gay sex gremlin shit. I don't want to fuck no guy. That's gross. I agree. I agree Finally, on... one thing we can agree on. Well, we, we got common ground. I mean, being gay is gross. Having sex with a sex gremlin is not as gross as being gay. I mean, the grossest thing you can get is a gay sex gremlin sex. I agree. I would never want any man's penis near me. I mean... Even if it was a sex gremlin. I'm not saying that I want to be like y'all, but I am quite shocked to realize that I might have more in common with you. And maybe Ronnie, you know, I mean, maybe that's why he's looking at it. Maybe he's having a change of heart. I just don't know. I don't think I can do that. I mean, I was raised to hate sex gremlins. It's in my blood. It's my heritage. And that's why you desire us more than anything. It doesn't have to be. It might be in your heritage, but it doesn't have to be in your future. Would you consider voting for Tristan? He's running for mayor. I'm running for mayor. Can I have your vote? I mean... I have your best interest in mind. I have everybody's best interest in mind. Not just sex gremlins, not just humans. I want this to be a world where we all coexist. the backing coexist. of the sex gremlin party and sister Besides and cult. Besides exposing I'm my kind of children, a big deal to such just blasphemy, it's inappropriate, these things should be reserved for marriage. What the hell else could you do for me? Why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you get, why don't you get Ronnie? That's his name, Ronnie. Yeah. Why don't you get Ronnie on FaceTime for me? Uh, okay. I, I'm be prepared because he ain't gonna be as nice as I am. He's gonna rip y'all to shreds because that's what Ronnie does. But, alright, I'll call him in one second. Hold on. Hello? Uh, I'm here, like I told you, like I am every single Sunday to protest at this sex gremlin uh, rally. They've currently got me in handcuffs and security's holding me, and one of these little bitch-ass motherfuckers named Tristan who's running for what? Mayor, you said? Hey, he hey, lady, give me the oh, phone. Here you go, here it is. Tell, Ronnie, tell me how it is. Tell me Ronnie, how it is, Ronnie. Ronnie. Hey, give me that fucking Ronnie. Yeah? Look at... You like that? Look at that. Look how big it is. You like that? Stop showing my wife your fucking penis, you fucking freak! I'm showing you my fucking penis. Listen, you fat kill redneck motherfucker. You like that? I bet you do. Show me a bulge. If I do, are you gonna tell Shelly Ann? No. Can you call me on a different number? I'll give you my number. I'll give you it. My kick. Shelly Ann, I gotta tell you something. Your, your husband's fucking get. Listen. Uh, no, no, no. Do I, listen, do I got permission to bone your wife? Do I got permission to bone your wife? No, you don't got permission to bone my What's wife. What's he saying? Get, he said I got I'm permission to bone you. Listen. Your ass, I'm gonna come down there and assassinate your ass. He said, he's saying I got permission to bone you and he don't care if that's what well, you want. Well, I mean, if that's what Ronnie wants, I, I, I do what the Bible says and I do submit to my husband. And if that's what he wants, I guess I have to. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. I can't believe this is where this all went. I mean, just minutes ago, you two were at odds, and now you're about to make sweet, beautiful love? We need to get this on stage! Well, we missed the entire fucking speech. I'm just surprised as the rest of y'all. I'm, I'm quite uncertain why my husband said this, but like I said, I am a woman of the Lord. So I will submit to my husband, and I guess I have to do what I have to do with you, but I'm not gonna enjoy it. Well... This will all be cleared out here soon, so if you guys want to, uh, once Sister Knows speech is done, you guys could just, like, fuck in the dressing room or something. I mean, we could do it right here on the street. We could do it anywhere. The point is, listen, do I got your vote for mayor? I mean, I guess if Ronnie's saying that he wants you to fuck me, I guess you've got my vote, too. Ronnie was saying he wanted me to have your vote. He was saying he wanted me to have your um, vote. Listen, I gotta tell you something about Ronnie, though. He's gay. Uh... Look, I know, I know, I know Ronnie had I an experience when we were in college, but he always said it was just because he was too drunk, he did not mean to let them run a train on him, and he couldn't help that he orgasmed. He couldn't help that he orgasmed, and I believed him, but to be honest, I'm starting to get nervous. I'm starting to believe he's been lying to me. Listen, Aren't you listen. glad you came to protest here today, bitch? Look, motherfucker, I am trying, and I'm going through an emotional distressed right now. I'm going through emotional distress. The least you can do is be nice and shut your fucking mouth. 
You're right, I'm sorry, this doesn't involve me. I think it's beautiful that Tristan and Shelly Ann have met each other here and connected in this way. I mean, did Ronnie say- Hey, y'all remember me, the security guard, from the beginning of all when all this started? I've been sitting here listening, and I just gotta say, y'all are a bunch of fucking freaks, and I quit. Take these handcuffs off me, bitch. <laughs> I did that right into the look at the audio wave. That's <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> I did it right into the. Oh my god! Oh my god, RJ. Folks, well, hello and welcome to Mo Tape episode ninety-five. Uh, that's that's a great way to segue into our uh, conversation here. You know, instead uh, of having the little thing where it has like the record scratch or whatever, it's just a fart now. God, ew. <laughs> this is the goofy segment. <laughs> this is a goofy show. <laughs> this is a little goofy segment. <laughs> <laughs> Just to let you know. Folks, you might have noticed in the opening and right now that we've got a special guest. That's right. We are joined by one of the original, well, actually the first special guest the podcast ever had way back in episode nine, Brandon Nicole Coleman. Coleman. Mrs. Coleman, Coleman. Right. welcome I'm back, Coleman. formerly Brandon Nicole Reagan. I know. I literally keep saying because I'm obviously not used to having to say that new last name, and so I've had a bunch of doctor's appointments, or like updating my like bank, like at credit union and stuff like that. And so I literally keep saying Brianna D- Raymond Reagan. Like I literally am just like fuck. I'm, I'm <laughs> Raymond <laughs> Dean Reagan Coleman. <laughs> when did it become Raymond? Well, because everything is. Stop. Or, or, or as Miss Swafford said at high school graduation, uh, Ragin. Are you Brianna serious? Nicole Dean. She still said Dean Ragin. Brianna Nicole <laughs> Dean Ragin. Well, she said Mitchell, I think, too. I think she pronounced it Mitchell since there's no E on the end. Oh it's literally God. N-I-C-H-O-L. Brianna okay, like Nichol Dean Ragin. Point. Yeah, but... I would have never forgiven her for uh, that. Yeah, it was hard, but I do like her, so... <laughs> She's pretty Me left too. leaning. That's true. We we should we should we should address though Bree's uh you know complaint. Yeah. Well, listen. <laughs> Here's where I'm confused is because you know I'm listening to old episodes, and there's one. It was the um, death of Princess Diana or whatever it was called, and so I'm listening to it. Yeah. And you guys are talking about I don't remember how it even came up. Maybe taking a vacation or. Or maybe it tied into the storyline somehow, and you're like, RJ says, do you know who likes staycations? Or one of you says that. And then the other is like, Brianna Nicole Reagan. And I'm like, I was, I paused. I was like, what the? I have never <laughs> we ever. like finished each other's sentence <laughs> like, with I've it. I've never even expressed. Is that how it went? Did we really like finish the yeah, other it sentence? Yeah, literally, you know who does we're that? We're just like, and yeah. Brianna Nicole Reagan, Brianna and Nicole Reagan say, loves staycations. And then oh RJ God. says, we're not going to talk about her on this episode. And then Zach says something else. I probably shouldn't. Why did I keep saying the story? This isn't relevant to the <laughs> recording. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, anyways, but yeah, so you just start talking about that. And then you, I am apparently the paparazzi that killed Princess Diana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So obviously there's some controversy. I don't remember at the, time. the episode. Yeah. There's certainly some controversy at the time in our family. Yeah. Frame, but that aside. What is wrong with saying you like No, staycations? nothing's wrong with it. It's just that why was my name the first one that popped up? Because it is as if I have literally over and over time, multiple times, expressed my love for staycations and I have never. And so it was like, that'd be like me talking to like you two guys talking with like Hannah or Nick and the first person you think it was Marie. Like there had to have been a reason why I was the person well, that popped in. I was kind of thinking, I've been thinking about this a lot since you said it, and I was kind of thinking, I seem to remember you and Whitney, because this was about when we worked at Pretzel Maker, you and Whitney would occasionally get hotels, Uh, like in Springfield or around Fairborn, and I think that might be what we were referring to. I'm not, because I'm not sure. Because we were recording it in a hotel. We might have been inspired by oh, you to do that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, because, so, that's when she lived with her mom, and sometimes we wanted to, like, drink or just do whatever and not have to be around that. And so then we would just get a hotel room and, like, get food and hang out and literally just, like, watch TV and talk. Like, it was right. as if we were just at her house, but just to get away from her mom. I probably, hopefully she doesn't hear this. Okay, okay. <laughs> 
I but it was, that. I mean, yeah, we had fun. But other than that, like, and it was only ever for one night. Like, we would go literally in the middle of the week or, like, on the weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, it was literally just, like, basically have a little mental break or whatever. Um, because she had so many hotel points from her prior relationship because they were long distance. And so he would book hotels all the time and he had, like, oh. a shit ton of points. And so then we still just used them, though, after she, after they broke up because she knew his login. And so he would just book them and he never said anything because he was still trying to get her back. And so oh. I think it was just like, I'll let you do what you want. And little does he know, we're just, like, having fun. <laughs> and then, like, eventually Dan was in the picture. So Dan had stayed with us one time. It's when they came to visit me in Florida when I was on my internship. Oh. So it's like... That's a big O per ex boyfriend paid for her to stay with her. Yeah, <laughs> truly. Oh, that's that's funny. So, I love well, that. this is this is one thing about the complaint that Bree had. To throw the complaint back at you, Bree, my complaint. <laughs> why are you listening to old? Why why are you listening to old episodes? Just don't do that. <laughs> well, because so. <laughs> Well, because how it started was, is because I followed you guys on Spotify, obviously, and then, like, I don't know, though I'll randomly want to listen to one, or, like, I'll I'll read through the titles to see, or, like, look for the, um, the little blurb where it says what the episode's about. Why can't I think of what that word is? Description. Uh, Description, <laughs> thank you. So I'll, like, read those, and I originally just started looking for ones that had my name on them, or things that I thought you guys were talking about that was funny. Um, and because, like, I was there for some of them, of course, but it's fun to listen back to that. That's what I was telling Zach, too. It's, like, weird because I listen to podcasts a lot or, like, audiobooks, so then it's weird to be, like, literally listening to one that I'm, like, on. Or, like, that, like, I, when I listen to you guys, I'm like, oh, my God, I know them. I I know them. Like, (laughs) (laughs) so then that's how it happened is I was just listening to old ones because they're funny and they make me laugh. So I, you know, like to come home and do a little bit of this and then and then listen because i laugh a lot is that is that true motif really makes oh yeah i'm always telling texting zach like on the certain parts or like even on the youtube videos and stuff like that or i just like them they're funny i think it's funny wow okay that wow i'm honored wow oh my god (laughs) (laughs) we're gonna have to you might have like um... single-handedly got us sorry what zach go ahead go ahead what you're gonna say I was gonna. You might have single handedly got us the five dollars. <laughs> right? Yeah. Possibly. Or possibly. Yeah. It kind of reminds me. Uh, you're probably gonna. You're gonna start uh, finding little uh, Easter egg moments peppered <laughs> yes, in, like we used yes. to do for Nicholas, where we'd be like, Nicholas, if you're listening now, text me this. <laughs> the only thing that's <laughs> right, hard, right. Though, we'll, yeah, we'll definitely start throwing those. Hard though is because since I haven't followed them in order slash since the beginning, that's the thing is. I'm also catching up on a lot of ones that I just even that I wasn't in is the beginning storylines I'm like very lost on because like I just so like sometimes I, it's like oh yeah I think I remember them talking about this but then I'll listen to a different episode and I'm like I have no idea what the storyline is so sometimes I'll just skip through that part and just listen to you guys talking You're but, right maybe what we should do is start adding in like a um you know like you know gravy starts at 2432 just right. so if people like wanted to go through and just listen to the gravy or segment, even because... like because i wouldn't mind listening to that part but you could even put a previously on and just literally give like a two sentence recap it doesn't have to be like it could be like um tristan runs right. into protester um sex demon protester and gets <laughs> right. in an argument but ends up making love like it could be very like simple to where we say oh, okay and then the storyline starts again for the next episode i think that would be good um, cause of course there's like me, like I'll probably end up going through and actually just listening to them in order or whatever ones will still be available. Um, but then for <laughs> yeah. people who might be new, become new listeners, you guys could always just give like a short, whatever. You're I right. That probably would idea. be good yeah. for somebody who, who doesn't, who isn't initiated. You definitely have to be initiated into the story yeah. to understand Or you could even do, especially uh, yeah, now. exactly. <laughs> or you could even do every 10 episodes. I, I oh, really sorry. like, as I was explaining it to Bree, couldn't find a point to start at. I like, kept like finding, I was like, well, I want to start the story. I have to like figure out how to explain this episode. But in order to do that, I have to explain this episode. <laughs> and in order to do that, I have to explain this episode. You can even do maybe like every 10 episodes yeah. or even five. I don't know how much storyline you guys only really put in them. But every five episodes give just a single two-minute recap episode. So like someone could click on that and it's just a two-minute really quick 
and then the next episode starts like in the last five episodes man you're (laughs) you're our producer man wow great ideas yeah (laughs) Bree, thank you for the ideas i I appreciate it thank you fresh new take because he does like live streaming and stuff like that so i like to does micah's a twitch streamer Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. What's his What's his handle? You shout him out right now. Motive. I believe shout it's out, him Take out. Risk Rollo. R- take Risks Rollo, because his middle name is his middle name is oh, Rollin R A L E I G H N, and so that's where the Rollo comes from. He's always went by that on games. I see. Rollo. So he like. <laughs> Come on, Rollo. So he plays with. Um, he's got like <laughs> online friends, and they all play together. And one of them just had a baby, a little baby boy. Oh, that's so sweet. You know, I gotta say, I don't mind staycations, uh, and I think that you know, th- despite I, I loved going to the Quality Inn where we filmed that episode oh, yes. and, uh, multiple times, staying the night there spending an evening there swimming in the hotel and all that but i also there's nothing like a good vacation too like when people come to visit you and uh you know my mom and Allie did come to visit me like we were talking about and uh speaking of which my mom took us to target <laughs> the one oh. that i worked at for the first time since oh, I quit. Oh, oh, did that's you see awkward you couldn't tell anybody you couldn't tell anybody no i didn't it wasn't that awkward I didn't run into anybody. Everybody that I did run into was oh, like, oh, hey, how are you doing? Because, yeah. you know. Maybe, okay, and cool, maybe okay. they assumed. Yeah, oh, yeah, Target was not awkward. Exes, but I was just, you know, right. Well, I was just sad that I couldn't stay on there any longer at the as a seasonal yeah. employee. It was uh, certainly yeah. devastating to not be able to stay working there. But the long point of the story is my mom ended up buying us Mario Kart oh, and wow. Mario Party. The newest Fuck edition. Yes, you got Mario okay. Party? Yeah, I did. And we've been playing it, playing it, playing it. I don't stream on Twitch, but if I did, you know it would be exactly. awesome. zero, zero for sure, even though <laughs> right. I haven't talked to that fucker. <laughs> I know, in like I think a it's so funny now. that you like never change the name and like but it's like almost like just late now, you just can't. <laughs> like Exactly. It's two. That's what it is. That's what. Or you could, I guess, even be, if you I ever guess. did, for some reason, create one. You could literally just put like, "Here's my original chain. I'll catch up there, and here's my new one." Right. Right. Well, we talked about. Well, we talked about one point or some points about like having like every, all of our different content being under like A Z zero zero. Like the, you know what I'm talking about, Zach? Yeah. But, like, never any, like, serious discussions about that, like, sort of rebranding it, I guess, is, like, it all being under. But it's obviously Austin Zach 00 is the OG. You can't top it, I guess. (laughs) Nothing else hits the same. And it's it's been how many years now? Because, you know, we're we're 26. You're 25, right? Well, yeah. It start. We started the channel in oh 2007, <laughs> and we're coming into our 14th season. season 14. 14 premieres on April 1st. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it might not premiere on April 1st, but in April is the swap. Well, I'll just say by the time y'all hear this episode, 14th season. <laughs> Yo, 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 yo. And at some point, the 600th video on the That's crazy. Zero Zero channel That's has crazy. been posted. Did you all like it? Did you all like it? <laughs> it hasn't even remotely been made yet. Did y'all, yet. Like, it? Did y'all, y'all like it? Did y'all like it? I assume it's been made. Oh, I thought you were. I thought you were saying that it oh. has been posted right now, and I was like, "Oh my god, I missed <laughs> You're it." You're like, "Shit!" No, I, missed you... it. I was like, "I was going down like a mental spiral." <laughs> no, no. God, I was like, I wasn't even part of like (laughs) making it. No, it's gonna be a whole production. No, gosh, everybody's gonna be involved in some way in my idea. But hell, that was also my idea for the chicken nugget special that never happened. I forgot about that. However, Bree did participate in the chicken nugget special, so I'm sure at least Bree will appear. I I am. I'm (laughs) true and loyal. True and loyal. Happy to have you. Right. I think the fact that we've been on YouTube for 14 years and we're just still making content, it's just like. It's just like, well, uh, very early on, we knew we would never make money from Austin Zach Zero Zero because Zach went and got the channel demonetized. <laughs> but it's just, How did you do uh, that? what I love about it is just, just straight up passion for just. Oh. I clicked on Oh, my God. Ads. 
I, I was like, oh, like, you know, you're not allowed to do that. But I would, like, just tell people to click on the ads. But I, I really wanted to make yeah. a career out of it. I wanted to be in the partner program. You know, I wanted to... That's my dream that still. Dream. To not exactly to be yeah. a, a YouTuber, but to create content for a living, you know. And right now, that's just what I have to do <laughs> on YouTube as a hobby, well, Unless you make the other channel, then you guys could just start all that and then monetize that one. Yeah, but it's just, I don't know. It's just hard. It oh, would be yeah. really hard well, to move And you'd be like having to upload channel. 600 videos. It'd be hard <laughs> to abandon Austin's X00. <laughs> right. The heart strings, the heart strings. But what happens if you start blowing uh, up one day and then you're like, I'm not making any money from this? Patreon. Well, Motaf, of all things, Motaf is on its own channel. That's so true. Yeah, Motaf is on its own yeah, channel. Hopefully yeah, hopefully everybody's listening to this on Spotify at, you know, Motaf or at YouTube or wherever you get your podcast. But it's on YouTube and it's on its own channel. So if Motaf ever blows up, you know, if somebody's listening to this, <laughs> hey, thanks. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I feel like if Motif were to ever be anything, I would I I would certainly like for there to be viewers. It would scare me if they were viewers, but like it would be nice to have yeah. actually like people listening. But I feel like if anything, it would become like almost like a cult classic, which is good in its own way because people really like to analyze cult classics. Like if mm-hmm. somebody's like, I just found like this fifteen-year-old <laughs> podcast. And it's the most bizarre thing. It'd be like a fucking like yeah. whatever BuzzFeed is in like 2030. <laughs> right. They're like, listen to the most bizarre podcast ever made. <laughs> These two guys and their friends in like the mid 2000s made this podcast and up into. Oh my god, it's up in the mid 2000s. <laughs> it's the 20s. Oh uh, what? <laughs> it's not the t- it's not the mid 2000s anymore. <laughs> The, what, the it mid is the 2000s, 2000s is like 2005 yeah, to 2009, it. maybe, and it's 2021. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're out of that, Zach. We're not living there anymore. It's really weird to think about the fact that, like, in November of this year, I will be 27. That's fake. It seems fake. Bree, that's crazy. <laughs> Time isn't real. I'm You're going to be 27? Dead. I'm scared <laughs> to be 26. Do you remember? Well, no, I'm not really. I'm scared to be 30, if anything. But I'm going to be 27, basically 30. Do you remember listening to. Yeah, I know. It's, you're right there. Nicholas recently expressed that he's afraid to be 40. <laughs> he's only like 20. 40? <laughs> oh my he's God. Like, no, I'm he's not like, thinking I'm going to be 40 soon. I'm like, no, Bro, you're not, that's dude. So funny. Don't say I'm that. I'm not going there. We have to get to 30. I'm first. not going to be 40 soon. <laughs> I'm 15 years. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But... I'm gonna be bald when I'm forty. That's all. I always imagine forty being like <laughs> George Costanza. Oh no! I, I'm gonna I don't shave my be head by then. I've been thinking so much. I don't want to be like, either. Even just like the buzz cut, like all the TikTok girls are doing. I've been thinking about it since like November. The only thing I'm scared of doing is I think I would look good with the buzz cut or whatever. And then eventually, I've had my hair this short before, like to my neck or whatever. It's that middle in between where I look like a middle school boy. But I'm like, I have to do it before mm-hmm. I'm 30, or I have to do it before I'm 40. <laughs> right. I mean, like... Mohawk. No. Yes. I, I... Mohawk. <laughs> I think I... At least on your way to shaving it. If you end yeah, up shaving at least, it like, bald, you, know, like, you might as yeah. well. <laughs> Halfway through the process, <laughs> shave it into a mohawk. It's kind of like sometimes I mean... like when you're like shaving or buzzing your beard off, sometimes you just see, like, what would I look oh, yeah, like yeah, with yeah. the Hitler I mustache? Would do that. Like, I, would do, right. I would do it in first, take pictures and stuff, stuff like that. And yeah. then... then... Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's fine. I, yeah, I absolutely support shaving any female shaving their head. I think it looks badass. I, think, I know. That's the thing is I keep seeing all these girls. I'm like, oh, my God. You look so beautiful. It's so... And everybody talks about how, right, like, yes. empowering it is because they put so much on, like, emphasis between straight hair, curly hair, or women are only attractive with long hair or blonde hair. So there's, like, so much emphasis that we don't even realize. And a lot of the girls talk about that. Of Like, they don't even realize how much their hair like is part of the whole insecurity about what you look like until they start shaving it and they're like oh my god like i'm gonna be bald (laughs) it must be what see the the bad thing about it though is that it's like it's like synonymous with mental breakdown yes right just like shaved your head you must have gone and lost it britney moment (laughs) Uh, i just had my britney 2007 moment thank (laughs) you very much (laughs) come on to mid 2000s (laughs) Take away her rights. Take away her rights. No. She oh can't God. make legal decisions no more. She done and shaved her head. <laughs> She's actually talking oh about doing God. a tell-all with Oprah. 
I think that would be fun. I want her to that so be, bad. Yeah. I want her to get out of her but conservatorship. What tells... Fuck Jamie Simpson. Simpson? What? If, yeah. Jamie Simpson. I, so, yeah. Where did that, that come from? Chief meteorologist <laughs> Jamie Simpson, bro. I, that's why I he said. got a DUI like six years ago. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> Fuck Britney Yo. Spears' management and dad is what she meant, though. Spears, Whatever his name Jamie is. Spears. Jamie Simpson. <laughs> it's Jamie. It's just Spears. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> That's why you guys were like, what? That's so funny. Oh, yeah, no. I, I think, was confused uh, where the fuck Jamie Simpson came from, but. <laughs> what if she tells all, like she does this tell all interview, but then it's still just, uh, you know, fake? Controlled, well, that's what I'm wondering nonsense. because she said like she wants it's a like chance. It's like Britney to be blinked able... 15 times. That was her code. <laughs> exactly <laughs> right. That's what it would turn into. I mean, they do that to well, any video anything. she posts already. Oh, she wore a, a yellow shirt with one red dot on it. That's what I told her to do three years ago. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> right? Exactly. That's what they put on her TikTok. You see the cat on her shirt. Everything. And so that's what I was wondering oh, as I was reading the article because it says she wants a chance to talk about everyone's talking about her past and all that and different breakup stories. She's like, I want like <clears throat> a chance to tell my own story, like make sure the facts are out there. But then I wonder if that's just to control the just control or like just trying to silence her. Right. Like she comes in there and she's like, everything is OK. And I love being. Controlled. Yeah. My dad never. I don't want to spend my own. <laughs> my money. dad does an amazing yeah. job. I might have said that I don't want him to be in control anymore. But that was just because I was I'm tired. He, yeah, he's always so tired. I was just trying to help. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I wanted to God. be able to retire and I'm... spend time with his grandkids. <laughs> I'm a daddy's girl. Ew. I just really wanted to look out for him. Hashtag daddy's girl. What, what's Jamie Lynn up to these days? What? What is Jamie Lynn up to? These Jamie Lynn. Yeah, she has right? kids and trouble, she tries to stay out of everything. That's like she said, talks about how that's why she doesn't work as much anymore is because she just wants to really focus on raising her kids. But she hangs out with them a lot and she is very pro because her she could take over the conservatorship at least until they can get it, you know totally eliminated but that's what they're fighting for. oh she wants to help out her sis yeah but what if she's faking it and she turns it around and she actually just starts using all her money <laughs> yeah what if she's even more manipulative <laughs> i would hope oh not. my god hope jamie not. zoe 101 i've always been jealous of you it's zoe 101 i didn't you like being in zoe 101 <laughs> i've she's been living like... in your spotlight i love that show you're a pop star and i'm on Nickelodeon. Oh, speaking of throwback shows. Not even Disney. Speaking of throwback shows, did either one of you ever watch um, Outside of the Box? Or wait, no, that's once gone. What the fuck? Inside the Box? What is it? Mr. Meaty. The, um, my God. Talk about something else. <laughs> Out of the Box. I don't know. Something about a box. box. Out of the Box. I've never watched oh, it. Oh, it was amazing. Never heard Are you of kidding it. kidding me? It was a show in the 90s. It was so amazing. It'd be like a cardboard box. What and network? And then they would go in the cardboard box, and it was this giant clubhouse, and there was all kinds of stuff to do. Oh, so that's you just cool. dreamed that that's what you could do, is you could like go in an actual cardboard box, and it was like this whole thing, but it was like some woman and some guy, and their so the theme song at the end, they would always sing it, and it's all, it's like very tagline is like 90s kids only it's annoying but it was a good show oh my god but anyways he came up on tiktok and he, he sang the theme song and i gotta tell you i loved every second of it or like big comfy couch i love big comfy people started couch, making yeah. memes of her being on porn porn hub <laughs> like where she's doing the you clock they would like put a picture of a vagina and stuff <laughs> oh my god have you ever? Uh, yeah, I, I know RJ never watched Disney Channel because he thought it was for girls. But did you ever watch Phil of the Future? I on sure Disney did. Channel? I sure did. <laughs> now get this weird connection: the dad on Phil of the Future is one of the like head professors at SCAD. Where Taylor are you is serious? Right now, that is so. And funny. like she has a class with him, but she has book reviews every semester that she has to like you know read all these books, and then they basically like have a you know book club discussion about it that he is leaves. it Craig so she has been in these conversations with him. Corey yeah, in Ann the house's on. dad. That is so funny. Phil in the future's dad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm on the wrong show. That's him. There he is. Yep. That's so Truly. random. I know. It's I've so never random. heard of Phil of the Future, though. It was. I loved Phil of the yeah, Future. I gotta say, bad. I loved it. 
I absolutely loved it. I remember sitting in my bed waiting to see if Phil and Keely would they ever kiss? Would they ever get together? And they finally did. And then the show, and ended. Then the show ended. Did you ever watch? And then it's just nothing. Um, truly, do you ever think about like all those shows we used to watch that I just like some of them I have no clue how they ended. Like I feel like they just suddenly were off. Well, yeah, and then sometimes you see you. It's weird how many shows you can just completely forget, and then one day somebody posts a photo of some obscure photo, and you're like, you're eh, like, mm. and it just like unlocks a memory. <laughs> oh, I just saw yeah. one of those the you're other like, day, mm. but now I can't even remember what it was. One that I saw recently was the Eyewitness that we used to watch in like elementary What's school. That? Never and heard of it. I didn't remember it, but I when I saw the uh, wait. When I saw the video, was those all the little really, news clips? Uh, triggered me. I think I so. I think I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh. I think I know. It kind of would be like if somebody, if Bill Nye the Science Guy, you know, if we forgot about <clears throat> him and then somebody played the Bill Nye the Science Guy intro and you're like, oh my God. Yeah. Like, it's crazy how it can just unlock a memory. Eyewitness show. I need to see what this. I, was it like just random stories and facts or something like that? I feel like that sounds so familiar. It would be, yeah, it would be like, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. It was, uh, it was Cooper Nasal that shared a meme that uh, had this in it. And I completely forgot about this. I don't remember how often we watched these or what, you know, but they, it, they were like little informational videos, kind of like Bill Nye the Science Guy. That um, they would show us in elementary you school. You gonna send it? Damn. I'm trying to send it. Oh, here. sorry. <laughs> oh, I can. Wow, I didn't. Oh, do I just click on it? That's cool. I feel like such a boomer. I don't know. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> now we'll drop I the did, link. I to missed the video. click. I know. On it. Now I, I don't know how to get to it. Okay, hold on. Here, I'll send it again. Hold on. Now it's it's not in the actual chat. It just though. shows up. Oh, there it is. Is it? I keep send. I'm just keeping sending it. I've fucking this is so <gasps> the animals. Like, deep oh my in God, my memory yes. it's vaguely there Zed, this is so crazy i, I know, totally right? forgot it about this yes oh wow that is crazy <laughs> yeah cooper nasal shared a meme that had that uh whole video play. it was some it was like a kid turning around and saying shh the eyewitness that intro is so on crazy. And it was playing. Oh my god! Oh my really god! Cool meme, so but uh, yeah, it's just weird how you, you know, and it's 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 really kind of a scary thing to think about in terms of just your own brain. How you everything that you go through on a day to day basis, you think you're gonna remember for pretty much all time. No, yeah, and, and you just don't. Oh, I know I won't. I that's I had to like detail everything in my journal so I remember well, what you know, I did. You know what's crazy is when right. they post like what people wore or like little gadgets. Like again, it's like you think you're gonna always remember the random shit that you use, and a lot of it I do recognize. But there's other times where I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> like right, like Tamagotchi, exactly, right, or hit clips, like hit clips. <laughs> yep. Oh my god, Jinx double Jinx. Yummy cake, pinch poke, <laughs> yummy cake. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Hold on, I, what did you even say? I missed it. Hit clips. We both suggested hit clips. You remember hit clips? No. It was a sort of like a Tamagotchi. It was a keychain that played only specific... Uh, it looked like a CD player, and then you put in like a little... Little... Almost like a memory card, but it only played like maybe... 10 seconds of a pop song at like a ringtone quality. So I had like NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, yeah. Britney Spears, and they were all. Um... It was like the size of a Tamagotchi. I, I vaguely remember those, but like I was never in on those fads. Like I feel like those were like the equivalent of like fidget spinners. Oh. Well, you know, I think I had one. And then there's certainly like a fidget spinner for sure. And I think I had one, but I know for a fact Clara had one. What? A fidget spinner? No, a hit clip. Oh. And she had uh, Hit Me Baby one more I did time too. in it. And that's all it had, like, the length for. It was like, Hit Me Baby one more time. Yes, yeah. And that was just like it. My grandma. <laughs> Why though? They were just I like a portable. Know. Instead of actually just using a portable radio, we thought they were so cool because it was just a little tiny thing. So you were like the cool person. My grandma got Savannah and I one for Christmas one year, 
and she bought us a couple like the, all the NSYNC ones. These were Christmas gifts. Yeah. They were oh, a little yeah. bit more expensive. They weren't the These worst, were like, but uh, it was like for poor people they were expensive. <laughs> Well, what reminds- I'm learning is that I've never been in on fads, like, ever. Like, I always feel like I'm out of the loop these days, but I've never been in the loop. I have been out of the loop for a lot of things, have, yeah. but it's like the random crap that it wasn't. <laughs> right. Like, I, just in the most recent episode of Angry Video Game Nerd, he referenced something that I had a memory of that I forgot about, which was there was a series of uh, Game Boy Advance and SP games that were just movies. There was a cartoon yeah, I, yeah, that I remember had that. Shrek like, and Shark Tale on it. And yeah, in the episode, like, he's like, why would you mm-hmm. want to watch uh, it's an, awful like, quality. an awful quality Shrek on your Game Boy <laughs> Yeah, I'm those like, were so weird. I had weird. that, and I thought it was so cool. <laughs> that's so funny. I never, I didn't even know. And that's the same I never, I, I never, I had one for my PSP, but that made a little more mm-hmm. sense. Because mm-hmm. at least it had a screen. Yeah, yeah, and it, like you put in like actual seat. It wasn't on a cartridge, which you can't you can't fit anything on a cart. The fact, right. but the fact I watched a video recently. The fact that they were able to get Shrek onto a Game Boy <laughs> cartridge was like amazing because it's like how did they condense that? Right, right down to that fucking size would be absolutely incredible. I think that so I've I've always just been collecting uh, DVDs and things like that. So I guess like you know Shrek on the Game Boy Advance is no different. Yeah. I think I actually stole it from Austin Studebaker. <laughs> well, well, that yeah, makes you sense. Are a thief. You also had a portable DVD <laughs> player, which I I was like, why would anybody want a portable DVD player? <laughs> what did Bree say? I, I missed said, it. Well, you are no, a thief. It was you. <laughs> yeah, and it was your subtle. Oh. It was your subtle. Uh, well. <laughs> Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> oh my goodness, you steal one one hundred and fifty plus dollar check, and it <laughs> and it <laughs> labels you for life. You steal one hundred and fifty dollar check, a bag of babies. I hardly, <laughs> well, yeah, I hardly I, ever think about that. I think about us stealing um, baskets. Yeah, we have. We I have, remember. I guess that. we have stolen a lot of things. And the baskets. balls from the mall. I did have a big collection of baskets. The bouncy balls at the mall. You are a theft. <laughs> like RJ said, the babies, all the little plastic babies. So all many the pretzels we stole. <laughs> oh yeah, endless. My you, first dildo. Yep, all of it. My our wow, first really? dildos. Yep. Yeah. Lo- yeah. So all from stolen. Spencer's. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's where I got my first one. <laughs> And that's every, I think everybody has to get their first dildo from Spencer's. Brian Avalos actually bought me my first dildo. Oh. That's what I'm remembering now. Sorry, trigger warning, Hannah Campbell. I know you're not listening. Hannah Benton, trigger warning, Hannah Benton. I know you're not listening, but you, I just mentioned Brian Avalos. <laughs> and I just did it again. again. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Avalos, Brian Avalos, <laughs> Brian Avalos. We're just getting it out there. Now, Hannah, if you're listening to this in, like, four years when we've reconnected like we just kind of did with Bree, and you think that that's offensive and you want to come on as a guest in the next episode and talk to us about it by all Wait, means. Wait, there's there there has to be a reconnection <laughs> right. or something happening that I didn't know about? No, no, no. Well, I mean, I, I you know, I just think, you know. Probably more so with me. She wouldn't come on if I'm on here. Oh, yeah, I knew about that. Think, oh, you meant yeah, between those two. Yeah, okay, yeah, I knew yeah, that they I were all like, nope. Yeah. No, and I was just saying how you had just listened to an ep- that episode circling oh, back yes. at the beginning. You had just listened to that episode, <laughs> you know, and yeah, there we go, I guess. But, you know, and what, what can, can you do? do? And somehow gonna... we always end our friendship, so it could happen truly. I hope it doesn't, but. <laughs> I don't think it will, but you know, if it does, well, I guess we'll just <laughs> connect in about a couple, six months and. Yeah, do it six again. months to a year, <laughs> and then. That seems to be the yeah, trend. It's always six months to a year. It's like if we're so aware of it at this point, like why would we ever like let well, it happen? Well, because we're always so right, hurt. Exactly. We're always like, I thought we reconnected. I thought we forgave each other. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, like like we've been noticing, I think it's it's uh it's more like a family than a friend, a friend group, and you know, you come and go, but you always come back. But to you the always family. welcome. <laughs> exactly. You might leave home, but you can always come back. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's who all. Says oh. You can't go we are on a Oh, I want to get. 
I want to get what you just said, Bree, tattooed on me with the state of Ohio. Oh yeah. With a with a heart around where Springfield would be. <laughs> I do hope that you get that tattooed. You can always you you can leave home, but you can always come back. I've Is had this idea about Ohio. I want to get Ohio tattooed Why? regardless with a heart where Springfield is. <laughs> because that's my home. That's where I that's grew where up. That's where I found Jesus. You know that one? <laughs> exactly. It's yeah. the house that built me. <laughs> the house that built me. Country music, yeah. folks. Country music in Springfield, Ohio. They go hand in hand. If I could just come in, I swear I'll leave. Won't take nothing but a memory <laughs> from the house that built me. <laughs> she doesn't even sound like that. Yeah, I can't. I don't even know the song. Blake Shelton broke her heart. Yeah, and now him and Gwen I'll Stefani are together. Aren't they having a baby? I think Probably. they are. I think they're pregnant. Pregnant. You know, there was a time when I thought Gwen Stefani was sixty, but it turns out she was just born in the sixties. <laughs> Gwen Stefani was born in the sixties. I think so. I might have made that up. Just now, but I, I guess she she could have been in her thirties in the nineties. That makes sense. Let's see here. Is she that old now? Yeah, Gwen Stefani, nineteen sixty nine. She's fifty one. Oh, she's the same age as my aunt Tonya. That's how it do, I guess. Well, folks, I think that was a I think that was a good episode there, and I'd like to thank Brianna and Nicole Coleman for joining us. We'd love to have you back. Oh, on. I would love We'd to love having a special guest. For sure. Be sure to uh, check your Wikipedia page, uh, your Austin Zach Zero Zero Wiki page here uh, once this episode airs, because you'll have some, some new credits. credits. Didn't at one point you guys put like no longer associated or something like that? I'm sure. I, I mean, what Probably, could it, yeah. It, yeah, it said something like, uh, I remember I, I updated it recently. It was like, there are no plans for her to return <laughs> yeah. to the channel. Something like oh that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, sorry about that, but clearly hey. there were plans. I mean, you know, you you've pretty much made an appearance in every Truly. season. So. Of the, all fourteen. So sec, so sec I mean, on here's the season fourteen, folks. Fourteen. I, I hold on, just one more thing. I remember specifically when we were doing some summer bonanza, like twenty twelve or whatever. Like yeah. it's like Bree was in the intro, and then it just put like it was so like Bree, and then it like parentheses said for long. <laughs> Yeah, we had. Uh, we were trying to film this. That was. It wasn't the... because we were mad at you. It was just because like we were trying to get you like. Yeah, you uh, it, for we... like recording. <laughs> I think it was Summer Bonanza 2012, and we were trying to put you in the intro. And uh, before when the first video aired, we hadn't been able to get you to film the intro yet. So we put in a placeholder, which was just like a blank Facebook profile. Like if you never uploaded a picture, so it was just like a. And then in the next, by the time we had filmed the next episode, we still hadn't gotten an intro clip. So we for long. For long. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. We're the kings of shade, but sometimes I guess yeah. you have to be. It's mostly There's funny. No it's mostly it. funny. You're right. Yeah, I thought it was funny at the time. I didn't think it was shady at the time. I thought it was like we yeah, were like I think it was funny. It. Yeah, it was certainly yeah. But uh. All right, folks. Well, like I said, thanks again to Brianna and Nicole Coleman. We'd love to have you back. And uh, next time we see you, you'll, well, you'll, you'll, the listeners will <laughs> Listen. know it. <laughs> Until then, stay <laughs> moat. Here's the season stay 14. Mo. Drink your prune juice, you old bat. <laughs>